This is my old aluminium melting furnace. Um, it uses this kind of weed burner type uh, propane propane fitting. I want to uprate it to use a waste oil burner using a siphon nozzle. This is a Hegel one gallon per hour oil siphon nozzle. The challenge is how do we convert this into this. The first thing you're going to need is about 17 inches of 2 inch bore stainless steel exhaust pipe. I got this from a custom stainless exhaust manufacturing company that are local to me. Uh, best thing to do is look for uh, a company that does exhausts in your yellow pages. So basically what you need to do is get them to swage one end so that the two pieces slip together like that. Um, this piece is check, about nine inches and the shorter piece is seven and a half inches. This is the siphon nozzle as it comes. This is where the oil goes in and this is where the air goes in. Um, it has a 1 8 national taper pipe fitting to take the oil and it has a quarter BSP air fitting in the back. To get the air in, I've made this male male quarter BSP fitting. Uh, you can buy these straight off the shelf so I've no need to make one. It's in the back like that. Now obviously we need to have some sort of T or some sort of straight piece coming out here for the oil to get in. Um, that little bit there is no use because it's, it's a right angle piece and if you you could theoretically fit it fit it like that, but um, what would happen is that it would, your your oil siphon would be right at the top of the pipe, and you want it in the middle of the pipe. So I made my own oil pipe. Obviously, it's got the eighth uh, national taper pipe at one side, and on the other end, it has a one eighth. BSP brake pipe type fitting and the reason for that is because uh, I've got this, uh, this is quarter copper brake pipe with a quarter BSP brake pipe fitting on like that. So we have to get this through this. So very simply we drill a hole at this point. This is the centre of this hole to this edge is one inch. Now you could make it less but don't make it any more and the reason for not making it any more is that when you fit when you fit this in it has to turn it has to turn the corner it has to turn the corner to go in I'll try to show you that. it has to turn that corner now if you put it in further it'll it'll lock up you won't get it in so about one inch is right See that gets the siphon nozzle in the correct position. Now to lock that in place I've just made a lock nut from 
this is an M10. I mean, you might have you might have an 8th BSP nut, but I didn't. So I used an M10 uh, nut and I ran it through with an 8th BSP tap. Um, normally you wouldn't do that because uh, you're not left with an awful lot of thread, but because this isn't under any stress, this it'll work for this. Right, leave that for a couple of hours and it will set up. <laughs> 